I mean, you know, he's a, he's a solid player. So this is going to be interesting to see. So this, uh, so that means that if it's restive, then that means that this is probably pool A, probably A1. You are correct, A. Pool A1. All right. Yep. See, there it is, restive. Okay. So it is pool A1. So this is going to be very interesting to see. Yeah, so it's sure. probably going to be Cloud versus um, somebody. Uh, a little Mac. A li Cloud versus oh, little Mac. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There, there are very few matchups in this game that make me cry. That's that is one of them. Yeah, cloud, that is the toughest cloud uphill little battle. Mac is pretty rough. It's pretty difficult. Yep. Um, if there's a platform available, it's kind of hard for Mac to ever keep Cloud from having limit. And Cloud does pretty much always want limit because Little Mac does have like that down smash and ways to hit Cloud's recovery. But outside of that, just like Cloud's disjoints, his mobility, his ability to keep Mac out, Mac's inability to land. Uh, the fact that Cloud doesn't even have to trade with him. Like, look at this right now. He all Restive really has to do is just stick with the smart option. He knows that Mac really can't get up to the platform to pressure. So, like, it's just free limit charge. He just kind of hangs out on the top platform and just has to wait. Well, missing, uh, missing a uh, full hop down air there, so getting a little bit of a punish for it. Yeah, wow. If, if Joe Cool needs to, and this is this is the part <laughs> of the matchup that's rough. How does yeah. Little Mac land against that kind of pressure? I got of all the characters that uh, have a tough time fighting Cloud, Little Mac is just one that just does not have an answer for when he starts getting into the juggle. Yeah, and now Joe Cool in kind of a poor position. That was a good low recovery though. Restive, uh, a little hesitant on pulling the oh, trigger there. Both of them kind of flubbing the trigger pulls on their uh, on their moves right there. Nice little up tilt, uh, up tilt to up B. Some oh. good solid damage. Very smart up B. He kind of knew that he was on the other, on the back side of Restive as he hit that up B, so he was going to be safe when he was going to be coming down. But and now just it just gets back to the it gets back to the trench warfare part of this matchup where what do you do when Cloud starts to just hang up on that top platform all day? That was a good catch from Joe Cool. Nice uh, edge guard. Oh, he had no jump. All right, first stock to Joe Cool. Yeah, Joe Cool is actually a. Uh, a resident Michigan player. He goes to, I know he goes to the NHS weeklies a lot. Um, and he's he's not a stranger to this matchup. I see, it, like, he plays the game a lot. So I'm, I'm sure he's uh, pretty experienced against Cloud, who's yeah. a common character. Yeah, he's playing this matchup really smart and how you're supposed to play it. He, he's been on the other end of some really hard hitting combos, but he's just has not let that shaken him up too much. And he's capitalizing on every single moment that he has where he has the advantage state. Oh, and just barely out of, he was just barely within range for that cross slash to hit. Trying to utilize his uh, mobility to just kind of stay just out of range. He just calls him out on that landing with an up smash. Yeah, Restive we has, see. Rest of has got to be really careful because another one of those. Oh, oh no. no, what was that? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, you know, it happens, it happens. Maybe. Maybe nerves getting to restive just a little bit. When applying some really smart shield pressure. Yeah, you'll see. Oh, okay. Little Max often opt to side B close to landing a lot of the time because it's the only hitbox they can really throw out in the air. Uh, obviously, Max aerials can't really challenge anything, so uh, you'll see that to escape poor situations sometimes. Oh, but here we go. Once again, the upper pressure comes back into play. Oh, that could be it. No, not quite. Cloud with limit. Another one of those down tilts could end the game right here. There. Uh, no! He yeah. pulled the trigger too early on that side B. This could be the chance that he needs. Down tilt to up B. That's going to be the kill. And Restive losing the first game. Yeah, Restive banking on an air dodge there at the end. Uh, if Joe Cool had air dodged downward, he definitely would have taken that. But, well, I believe so at least. He had a ton of rage, and Little Mac's pretty light. But uh, Joe Cool not taking the bait. No, he was playing that very patiently. And that's basically the name of the game that you have to do against Cloud is patience is so key.
So I think the adjustment that Restive just needs to do is he needs to also like be patient himself because he's going in, getting a little antsy, and just being punished for it unnecessarily. So now we're going to Lilat. Yeah, and I understand uh, both. Like what I've heard from Cloud and Little Mac players is that they both typically like this stage. Um, Little Mac can pressure underneath the platforms with his up smash, so uh, he, has, he has ways to pressure the platforms even from the ground. Um, Cloud just, I mean, he likes the fact that the plat like he can trap on the platforms. Uh, the low but consistent platform layout is just like really helpful for both characters. Oh, I'm wanting that, but that little up tilt. Nice read on the counter. Oh, Ooh, we no. tried to land and catch him on the platform, but just out of range for that. But good side B to get back on. Falling into the rapid jabs. And rest of he's, once again, he's kind of getting into the spot where he's... Oh, oh no! <laughs> good stuff from Joe Cool there. Just calling him out on that, not getting the snap to ledge right away and just capitalizing on that fully. Yeah, I just noticing that any time that Restive is just getting into trouble, he starts to get a little bit panicky and starts to get antsy for getting in for damage, the kill, what have you. Oh he really needs gosh. to be patient. And these strings. Oh. That was a good, like, 47 damage off of two, like, frame traps. And J. Cool's not done yet. No, he is not. But now, here comes Restive. Oh, I... That was a really smart recovery. Yeah, I don't... I, I guess he was waiting for uh, side B, but I'm pretty sure Nair would have covered both that and the low recovery if he had just dropped down while Joe Cool was fading back. We try for the landing KO punch again, but not going to be coming up with it. And just like that, neutral air. As soon as Mac is in that you know state, all Cloud really has to do is just run off neutral air, and that's going to seal out the stock. Yeah. But at 84%, Restive's got to be super careful. Oh, oh my that's gosh. a shield break. That's going to close it out. Yep. Hit him, Mac, baby. Good stuff from Joe Cool. Just calling out that roll. Uh, he knew Restive was scared. He was going to roll into shield, and he hit him with the the low angled Mac F smash, which I know does more damage. So. Uh, do you know if it does more shield damage? It does more actually? shield damage. Okay.